I was about to work on a Raspberry Pi project. In fact, it's just not one. It is a couple of them. <laughs> one is a client project, but another one, I'm working on a personal project. In fact, I'm going to release it shortly. It's not just going to work. I just started, but I'm having some bottlenecks where... I need to quickly transfer uh, the whole, uh, you know, disk image from, uh, you know, the Pi uh, micro SD to my uh, system uh, so that I can uh, release the whole disk image, okay, the whole SD card image. So you can see that uh, this is the one which it has, but uh, I have to freshly start working on Raspberry Pi before that I'm uh, doing some work uh, uh, which is not to Pi specific work I'm doing on a PC, but the moment I start, you know, aggressively work on Raspberry Pi, I need something uh, uh, so that I can uh, quickly transfer files and uh, uh, I mean, not files, I mean to say the disk image, the whole uh, entire Raspberry Pi uh, Raspbian uh, image with this software pre installed. So, this is just not for me when uh, I am uh, working completely something else for my uh, client as well. Uh, the problem is I have this uh, old uh, uh, Transcend uh, 2.0 uh, card reader. Uh, you can see there it can read a standard SD card as well as micro SD but uh, since it is 2.0 uh, it's quite uh, slow okay which is why I thought uh, it's high time uh, let me order some few stuff uh, besides the various other stuff uh, this is one uh, stuff i just ordered and i thought let me just do a quick unboxing and also we can do some quick tests see i got a couple of uh, uh, strontium uh, micro sd cards uh, by the way i have used this uh, long back in fact uh, over here i have uh, a strontium uh, uh, this one is a 16 uh, GB card. Yes, this is a 16 GB card <coughs> which uh, at the moment I use sometimes to record this video in this Nikon camera. Okay, so I can't use this uh, either, but this one is a micro SD HC card. Okay, versus uh, these ones are micro uh, SD XC cards. See, the XC cards is a bit faster. Uh, you can uh, possibly read over here. Okay, I can just do a very quick zoom. Uh, so, when you order in Amazon, you can just make sure you get something like this. Uh, let me just do a quick zoom. Okay, you can see there uh, it's written as micro SD XC right so this is the one uh, this one is a 64 gb uh, by the way micro st hc uh, which you may find uh, that you know uh, written over here see this is an adapter they said it is compatible with all these types so hc is uh, the maximum limit for the hc is uh, 32 gb so if you want xc you should uh, buy something which is more than 32 gb See, uh, I don't need much of storage needs uh, because uh, even in this I may need to create an image which is just hardly going to be 2 GB or something like that or at the max around 2 and a half GB or something. So I don't want to populate the whole card either. See, that's the point uh, because <coughs> uh, it is easy to carry if you extract such an image. Imagine uh, you are uh, creating an entire uh, DD command and uh, extracting this entire image which is around 64 GB. It is going to take a long time. So we try to avoid and uh, uh, when I extract and when I do open uh, release, uh, it's not going to be open source. About I'm saying about my project, not the customer one. That is completely proprietary IP. Okay, I'm saying about mine. If I do any release of this. Uh, uh, the problem is uh, I can't extract the whole stuff but at the same time even extracting the whole image around uh, uh, you know 3 GB or something is going to take a lot of time. Uh, one you have to have a faster card, second you need to also have a faster interface. So I got uh, this uh, uh, Transcend uh, card reader. Uh, this is uh, USB 3.1. Uh, this uh, All these things I just uh, got in Amazon. I can uh, share the link so you can have a look in case if your project demands okay see uh, this is a transcend uh, uh, rdf8 is the model number it's a card reader 
it's a small uh, usb 3.1 card reader so it has a weird uh, usb micro <laughs> interface okay so this is not like our a standard mobile phone uh, usb micro you know port uh, so this is the interface and this is the card i can just zoom uh, you can have a look see this is the card right so this is the model number which is rdf8 uh, this comes in white and black but i don't have any option uh, i mean i'm not getting any option to get white one but i just thought anyway it is fine so this is the one so they are supplying this cable and as i said this is a micro usb port but it has that weird stuff so that you know it is usb 3.1 compatible okay so this is the one uh, what i can do is i can do a very very quick unboxing or in this in this case i just want to quickly open and we can do some quick benchmarks in the linux system see this helps us uh, to determine uh, if we are using in any production uh, stuff in our projects okay see the thing is it's i'm not worried about the uh, speed of raspberry pi reading and writing files that's not the point i'm saying uh, once uh, i do this uh, project uh, i extract this uh, whole raspbian image okay the whole disk image or in this case uh, the micro sd card that is where i'm getting this uh, you know bottleneck so i felt uh, not just the card reader i have to get a good uh, you know sd card as well okay the micro sd card as well yep so this is the cable so let's just open this thing uh, you can see there so this is a standard uh, usb 3 compatible cable so let's just open this uh, there are other brands I found. Uh, there is one uh, Kingston. Uh, I even uh, added in my uh, watch list. Uh, the problem is uh, many complaint it is getting warmer and hotter and stuff. See, uh, yeah. by the way, this is the port. You can see this is the port, right? So, this is like USB uh, micro USB port, but uh, this has this extra pins so that it can support this 3.1 uh, speeds. So, let me pull this uh, card reader itself. So other than that, uh, I also found a verbatim, uh, I am not sure, uh, I think it is just USB 3.0 or 3.0, so I don't want to pick that one either. Yeah, this is the card reader, I, I think I can even use this for uh, CF cards and stuff like that, which, meant, which means uh, compact flash and stuff. Right, so this is the one and uh, the cable goes here like this, so this is the one, hope you can see there, it supports uh, even CF flash also and the standard uh, SD cards and also this micro SD card okay so what we do is we can also do a very quick uh, unbox of one of this micro SD cards and uh, what we do is we do a quick benchmark okay so let's just cut open this uh, this I found uh, quite uh, reliable by the way this uh, strontium and it is uh, a cheaper uh, uh, option as well compared to sandisk and uh, uh, and uh, the other ones like even samsung uh, uh, and uh, as well you get uh, this uh, hp and stuff like that i'm thinking perhaps next time i can try this a data uh, or even pny uh, pny i had uh, a card which is extremely reliable so i don't mind even getting any any of that brands if I get it at a better price than this okay so this is the card uh, let's just put this in this adapter oh, i mean anyway since it reads micro sd card so let's just put it over here and we can do a quick comparison okay so let's take the same uh, sd xc card which is a 64 gb card which is this uh, strontium uh, brand see they advertise as uh, 100 uh, mbps uh, which is uh, bytes per second so it is close to 800 megabits per second okay which is close to 1 gbps speed okay uh, see this is the thing so we quickly plug it in and we see how fast it can uh, you know do this uh, transfer okay i'm not going to do a file transfer uh, we have a command called hdpalm uh, in linux 
we can quickly try that and see okay yep uh, so we go to this terminal uh, and what we do is uh, yeah looks like they have formatted they have pre-formatted uh, this drive and what we do is we can do a df command uh, you get a command called hdpalm uh, hdpalm as you can see here it is pre-installed if it is not installed you can install it okay and you can do sudo or before that we can do df minus h see you can see it is mounted in std1 okay so we just do a benchmark of the same okay uh, sudo hdpalm minus t dev sta dev std1 yeah std1 uh, you provide that and you are good to go uh, you can ignore this uh, warnings uh, of course uh, when you do it in hard disk or ssd drives uh, it's not going to show that warning yeah so you can see there it uh, delivers the promised uh, uh, speed which is close to this 100 mbps okay so let's not complain about a few <laughs> megabits per second whatever you lose so it is close to that specs next uh, what uh, we can uh, do is we can unmount this and uh, we can try that old uh, yeah, let me eject and I can try this old uh, SD card, okay, uh, which is uh, supposed to be SD HC card, okay. Uh, I think it should operate at the same speed. Uh, yeah, this is the one, this is just uh, 16 GB uh, and it has been formatted and it should have some uh, file structure meant for Nikon camera, okay. So let me just put this and uh, we can try. Yes, see you can see it is uh, mounted and what we do is uh, we can do the similar test so type this uh, df command it is also std1 so we can type the same command okay which is uh, sudo hdpalm minus t and uh, that drive letter uh, one thing is uh, you can try this even in raspberry pi as well okay and then you can evaluate what is the performance uh, you get uh, comparable to a system or a laptop see you can see that this is around close to 90 mbps this is little slower than that uh, but anyway it is close to that but it's good to buy that hdxc okay so we can take one more sample it should be close to the same since it is not hard disk there is no spinning time and uh, stuff like that okay so you can see that it is more or less that okay so we can confirm uh, the hdxc is a bit faster okay something like that so what we do is we can eject uh, we can try with uh, usb 2 card reader this time okay we can uh, take it out and uh, from this uh, the old card reader the problem is like i said if you have an entire image which is around close to couple of gbs then it's a huge bottleneck okay see i put it over here you can directly plug it like any usb flash drive okay so we try with the slower one uh, or the 16 gb one and then we can try with the 64 gb one okay the new 64 gb one yep see you can see there it's mounted and uh, we can try the same command let's test it is this time it is stc so we can change this to stc1 and uh, we can try Yes, uh, you can see that there is a huge drop in performance. It is almost one by third of what it is, you know, uh, coming out of this uh, new card reader, right? See, you can see it is around 26 or 27 megabytes per second, okay, uh, which is close to in networking terms because since I uh, work in networking, not storage, I like in bits per second, okay, so 26 or 26 and a half into 8, which is around close to 200 megabits per second which is very slow okay so what we do is uh, we try to remove this card uh, as one can understand now the bottleneck is only this usb interface not the card itself see the card is now going to be much faster so i presume uh, if you put this uh, new one also you may get the same speed because there is no lag in in the sd card there is a lag because of the usb interface okay so we can try over here and uh, we see in this what is the performance we get okay yeah, it is mounted df minus h it is the same stc1 uh, 
and we can try with this uh, new micro SD card. Yes, you can see there it is even uh, little less than what we got in that, you know, the other card, which is actually slower. Okay, so you can see there uh, we get now bottlenecked by USB interface. Okay, not the SD card itself. So you can see there this is constantly giving around 26, uh, more or less similar to what we got in the other SD card. So I suggest if you are uh, working in any Raspberry Pi projects, you can consider uh, I of course you can uh, try something like this in uh, Raspberry Pi itself so I can even do a quick trial uh, see I have this uh, Raspbian installed Raspberry Pi uh, OS in this uh, SD card and uh, this I'm working on something and even if you remember my recent videos I have done the code and uh, stuff like that on this SD card so I'm going to keep this meant for linux channel videos or any demonstration coding and stuff like that so i i maintain generally various sd cards like hard disks and i write a name and keep it in a pouch okay we can quickly power this and try what is the speed we get out of this card but by the way this is a very old 32 gb card given by my client i am saying this is around more than five six years so at that point of time it is quite expensive okay so let me grab one uh, uh you know raspberry pi power adapter and we can try this one yep uh, i have this uh, power uh, uh you know adapter for raspberry pi uh you can see there it started booting so we can connect the network port uh hopefully i remember its ip okay so we just try to log in into the same okay ssh or otherwise ping 192.168.0.153 something like that 156 153 yes so it is 153 of course if you don't uh, know what it is you can connect uh, you know monitor or i generally log into my uh, uh, Wi-Fi router and I can anyway find uh, you know uh, the corresponding device MAC address okay from there I can know which it is uh, you know connected to which IP okay so we do a quick SSH uh, you know SSH pi at one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot one fifty three so we can see there uh, this is the Raspberry Pi uh, what uh, we can do is we can try the same ST, uh, HD palm command say df minus H uh, this time it is at uh, you know um, dev root which is that you know slash you can see there uh, this is the mounted uh, uh, partition uh, we can try that as well as we can try this also uh, anyway that also corresponds to uh, this uh, micro sd okay so what we do is uh, hd palm hopefully it is installed so sudo hd palm uh, minus t uh, I forgot what is the df minus h sudo sd palm hd palm minus t and uh, dev root yeah that's it uh, hopefully it doesn't accept then I can I can just do this uh, I can just pass the home uh, directory yep uh, IOCTL, yeah, it's not accepting. Then uh, we can try this uh, dev mmc block one something like this and see if it accepts. Yeah, so this time it is working. We can see what is the sample uh, we are getting. Okay, so you can see there we are getting around uh, 20.68 mega bytes per second uh, like i said this card is uh, quite old which is the whole uh, reason i'm getting this sd card the thing is one i want to use it as a dev test uh, uh, card the other one is to get images and uh, you know stuff like that so i can use the other one to you know do a final install and extract that you know images and stuff okay yeah, it, you can see it is around close to 20 megabytes per second. So now I'm really confused. What is that? It is bottlenecked in that you know interface. So what I need to do is I need to do a quick shutdown. 
uh, all these things i thought i can uh, do behind the uh, i mean without recording or without shooting this episode but again i thought uh, let me just do like a vlog so that you can uh, see behind the scenes what it involves doing stuff like that okay see these are the things i do on a you know regular basis this is a part of my work okay so uh, it's powered off what we do is um, we take this sd card uh, i'm not sure what brand what it is actually it came something uh, with a hardware from hong kong or somewhere uh, you know what my client purchased and directly he shipped uh, to my address i'm saying this is around 2015 or 14 uh, stuff i'm <laughs> hardly remember uh, what we do is uh, this we take and we don't use this time this uh, usb 2.0 card reader because we don't know what it is bottlenecking and why it is uh, 20 Uh, 0.1 megabytes per second so what we do is we take this usb 3 and we quickly test it okay with this new card reader okay yes uh let me yes you can see there uh, it has this uh, partitions root fs and boot uh, one partition uh, whichever it's mounted we can just write df minus h you can see there root fs is std2 or std1 either of that partition we can try okay so sudo hd pam uh, minus t dev std2 and uh, i'm quite eager to see what is the performance we get yeah you can see there so this time it confirmed that uh, the card itself is quite slow i am not sure what standard it is because absolutely it has nothing marked on the card everything is erased it's not laser etched uh, something they just printed and uh, i'm not sure if this whole stuff uh, came from uh, hong kong or somewhere so i'm really not sure what card it is and stuff like that so you can see that the card itself is bottleneck so this card is perfect for uh, uh, as an os uh, you know drive uh uh you know to do some generic raspberry pi coding and stuff but uh, really not suitable for some high speed uh, you know copy paste of any files or extracting the whole uh, you know image the os image or booted image and uh, stuff like that so this is the whole point of getting this you know new hardware so that's the thing okay so i can just uh, this thing eject this and what we do is we can quickly summarize so if you are working on any uh, raspberry pi projects as long as you work in small iot projects and stuff of course you can repurpose any old sd cards you can uh, perhaps you may be using it on a phone and uh, now you need it uh, uh for a, a, you know raspberry pi iot project or something you can take it out you may have old 8 gb or 16 gb sd card you can take it out of your phone and you can use it for raspberry pi and then you can buy a new sd card and use it for a phone <laughs> okay but in case you want to uh, cook you know live images and uh, you know you need to extract the whole uh, you know os uh, image out of this then i can uh, recommend uh, get yourself of course uh, you know usb 3.0 or 3.1 card reader this one is 3.1 card reader so you can see there they listed as uh, usb 3.1 uh, gen 1 uh, card reader uh, what is this yeah they provide a small uh, sort of a booklet with all their product range and uh, stuff like that uh, yeah they do have similar looking stuff which is us uh, hub 3 uh, this is a usb hub okay what about the card reader uh, yeah there is another model which is uh, rdf9 uh, and uh, rdf8 and uh, stuff like that yeah different form factor card readers and stuff so yeah some are uh, similar to this but it is usb uh, 3 card reader so they do look similar to this by the way this is also transient okay so that's what it is yeah and also there is uh, you know um, range of um, you know micro sd cards they listed out like this uh, stxc and htxc and also they have some high endurance uh, micro stxc so hopefully if you have any um, uh, you know requirements where it should be powered on for some type of home monitoring or something like that i'm not sure how far these are you know uh, uh, can cope up with such endurance uh, you know 
workloads okay so in that case perhaps you may need to consider okay of course they are going to be much expensive but that's what it is so hope you find it uh, interesting uh, this is just i thought uh, this is my uh, you know to do work uh, you know this is my uh, workflow okay this is a workflow for today because before i jump start and start working on both my client stuff and also my personal project i thought uh, let me do all this tests and uh, get a clear picture of what we get what we don't get <laughs> and uh, based on that uh, you know i can kick start my work so that uh, one i may use it uh, for the client uh, the other one i may use it and if this everything goes well i can uh, go ahead and buy a couple of more because i need to extract the image okay that's the whole point so this will be like a dev test uh, uh, card i'll be doing development and testing okay in that unit testing or whatever and the other card will be for my project i'll be doing development and unit test so once it is all working fine i may need to buy again identical couple of cards so then i can do uh, is uh, i can cook the image uh, put all the software the binaries everything and extract the whole os image okay with the dd command and stuff hope many of you guys are already aware of so hope you find it uh, interesting i do uh, uh, going to add i'm going to add all this uh, uh, links uh, what i got in amazon in the youtube description thanks a lot for joining me if you have anything to discuss uh, uh, be in touch via email okay thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye